Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing like a, I guess a starter guide of sorts for the tech tree for Last Oasis. This is going to be mainly geared towards players who are brand new to the game, and really don't have a goal or a thing they should be going for. So we're going to start left to right, so this is not in a specific order of must have first, or you know, last thing on the to-do list. So keep that in mind while re-watching this video. But first things first, one of the first things you're going to want to get is the vision powder. This is going to be really important to be used to craft walkers in the future. Now the firefly, the first one you craft, won't be required to use this powder, but from there on out all the other walkers will require this. So this is definitely a must have. These other two you won't really get into until later on. And that's as far as I've gone on my tree, but obviously in the future it's going to go farther. Now next after that I'll definitely go into this tree. Uh, so you're going to definitely want to pick these up. I don't know if you get these in the tutorial or not. A fair warning, but after that, sterile bandages are a must have in the future. Uh, I'd go fiber chest piece and only get the headband and skip these two. Personally, I don't think these two are worth it, especially early on. Fiber doesn't really do much. However, the head, head wrap is going to be useful all the way up until you get gas mask. So I definitely think headband's worth. After that, you're going to go into Rupu. I think Rupu fur is a good solid start. Pretty cheap to make, it's only vine and pelt, so you'd just be beating up Rupus and a little bit of rope actually. And a neat trick with this stuff is actually, when the chest piece is almost broken, you can actually use that chest piece into this one. And then it makes it into the cloaked and refills the dirt max. So that's another really handy uh, little neat trick. Uh, so you definitely want to pick up the cloaked as well. After that, I would go... You could go into fast grappling hook if you want to do that route, or you could buy this from like a trader. It's a really nice grappling hook and perfect for combat, so it's definitely a bonus. Down the tree farther now, uh, this bottle from Makeshift is pretty nice compared to Makeshift, as well as extremely cheap. I mean, it's only cactus fruit fiber and hide, so I definitely agree that this is something you should be interested in getting, as well as the light backpack, which is nice because you'll be picking up this pouch, which isn't amazing, but it's, yeah, it's something if you need a slot filled, not the worst. But yeah, me light medium backpack are great. I would definitely, if you can in the future, you could just start with light if you're a little low on frags. And then pick up medium in the future, but it's definitely something you're going to want to get. As well as pouch. That's up to you, you know, your game, your life. Uh, now we're down in the weapon tree. So there's uh, quite a few weapons in Last Oasis that you can use. Uh, here we've got the the swords. Some of these are one-handed, some of these are two. You'll tell by which it says by the hand. So this one says both, so it's a two-handed sword. So depending what you want to try and stuff, feel free to experiment. I mean... The only worst thing that happens is you just spend more frags and farm a little bit longer. Which eventually you're probably going to want to fill this out if you're getting really hardcore into the game anyway. Uh, all these tools are an absolute must. I mean, for sure. Like, Repair Hammer is amazing. If you need a, like, if you get your wing damage or something like that, this will be great. Especially when those cats attack the legs. You'll need one of these to fix it up. Pick is a must. Sickle's great. A uh, little low for early on, so it's kind of a bummer. But if you can get into, like, the Nomad and stuff... The scythe is amazing. It's a big boost. I mean, level 12 in harvesting with the, the, the scythe or sickle, whatever you want to call it, is a pretty big deal. So that's definitely a must grab. Torch, I find, is kind of optional, but with how dark these eclipses are, it's definitely not the worst thing in the world. But that's much more optional than the rest. This is a must have, because this is going to be the next tier in the hatchets, and you're definitely going to want to get this sooner rather than later. Now we're going down into clubs, so there's one-handed one -handed clubs and two-handed clubs, whatever, pick your poison kind of thing, and then after that is staffs, and then down here is javelins. So those are just some useful things in that tree, we'll go to the next one now. Another really important thing is to get your crafting station pretty quickly. I would definitely think this is higher up on the priority list if you are looking for that priority list thing. This will be really nice to pick up, as well as the recipes for them. It's pretty important. Uh, windmill is very important, especially once you get into like clay and stuff, because you'll be needing a lot of torque. So like the clay thing, that's the recipe for it. <clears throat> the soil expeditors take torque, so windmill is generating from that would be nice. As well as in the red tree, there'll be a torque battery that you can pick up uh, a recipe for it. Very important. Diamond station's a must. Like all crafting stations are going to be a must, actually. But so like if you're going to prioritize some, you could go here, grab this, you could grab that, and skip these two for the moment if you needed to. That's up to you. I'd, 
once you get more soil excavation, you'd probably want to pick up both of these. This will be an absolute must again. Like these recipes are really useful to help you just be able to grind mats instead of just trying to get it off for poos and stuff. I honestly don't even remember if you can get rope off for poos. Probably, but who knows? Nomad's an absolute must, but you you'll have to be using in advance for that. So that's a little bit down the road. This one will be much more higher on the priority list for the moment if you're like brand new. Purified water is really good pickup. Bone glue will be a really good pickup. So like those two you'll want to get pretty early. Woodworking and shafts. Yep, that'll be very important. You'll want to pick that up as well. We don't that true. Move to the next one. So, you should have sand bed unlocked by a uh, tutorial. I don't know what else you get. Amic and beds are really nice for like a Baomung base. So then you can be able to spawn in it if you died or something went crazy or wild. Chests are going to be, you know, extremely important, obviously. Ammo chests for like battle type ships if you want to hold ammo. Water bags are really nice depending on uh, how much water you're trying to hold in base or like, you know, on like a walker deck or something. So these will become more useful as time goes on. I really think this right here is extremely important, especially for Baomung base bases. So you'll definitely want to get this sooner rather than later for sure. Because that'll be in the next train. I'll explain why more in a moment. Rupus are nice for Baomung bases to just kind of keep people off your stuff for a little bit. They don't hold a lot, but they hit pretty good and they they were just a nice little deterrent. I believe we're done with this portion of the chest. Let me just do one quick check. Ah, yes. Uh, flint harpoons are going to be very important early on. This. Once you get into this tree and you're looking for something to get fra farming frags faster, the flint harpoon will be really handy for that. Because a lot of the medium tiles, there is drag chests that this can be used on and will be really beneficial. Help you farm frags faster. Now shots for battleships, if you're into that. Blister will be absolutely important, but you have to get that in order to get this anyways, so... No big deal on that. Rangefinder is really nice for finding high quality mats. This will actually help you look through the glass and you can see like what quality is from a range so you don't have to be riding around right next to everything and then getting off and checking everything yourself. So that'll be higher up on the priority list. I wouldn't say it's a must that early on. You're just trying to get everything set up when you're getting this. You're getting this to try to pull out quality dinghies or not dinghies but ships in general. Well, I think this is it for this tree so we're going to move to the walker tree. Like I was saying earlier about the Baomung, the Baomung is new to this season, so if you played last season you're like, what the hell is that? It's actually this. It's actually a walker, a base packer walker, pretty much is what it is. And it is able to carry solid materials, which is when I mentioned stone earlier, it to be an important pickup because the Baomung will be able to pack a base of stone, which is new to this season, and since it's solid, the mats of stone are solid as well, you'll be using some pretty high-end stuff to break into them. It's really beneficial, helps you have like that safe little spot once you want to get back from a run or something. Place to kind of call home a little piece of your own land kind of thing. But yeah, Baumung, uh, I think, is one of the most important walker pickups you can get early on. Absolutely, 100%. After that, uh, or even before that, if it depends if you want to just get out of the dinghy or not the dinghy, but the Firefly and get into the dinghy. This is a nice little upgrade from the Firefly. I'm not a fan of the Firefly personally. I don't think it's very good. But this thing's pretty solid. I mean, you see, you'll probably see these a lot by the time you're getting into the mid-range portion of the game. And if you're looking for like another small, like solo ship, uh, the spider is actually an excellent choice. And there's two variants of the spider. You can get the normal one with a cargo box on it. You can get the one with the blister to pull chests by yourself, or with two people. You'll lose out on the cargo with the spider walker with ballista, but it is a nice, it's a nice option for pulling chests if you didn't want to get anything too crazy. Uh. I think for like starting out and like necessities for beginning, a climber is really nice. I think this is really important as well. Obviously to get into the more advanced walkers, you're going to be getting the steering levels anyways. So you don't have to worry about that too much. If you're going to any anything else like this, you're going to be getting those regardless. Small walker, uh, walker packing compartment. This will carry some small, some small walkers. Uh, I don't remember the limits of it, but... It's really handy if like you had a bigger walker and you're like, oh, I want to have a spider with me. This is kind of what I use it for. I don't know the limits of it. Uh, I just usually mainly use it for spiders. So. Someone else have to let me know on that one. Um, for the absolute uh, closest things that are like a must for early game, I think we've just about covered them all. I appreciate everyone. I wanted to make this video brief just to help everyone out as quickly as I could. Uh, thank you everyone for coming out, and I appreciate you catching this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.